What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day as usual. So for this video I'm going to be doing a reaction to the most iconic character of Sasha Baron Cohen. Of course you guys already know Ali G. And in this clip he's talking to Gord Vidal about history. So let's jump into the clip and check it out. Let's go. Let's check this clip out guys. Hopefully it's funny. We know it's going to be funny. <laughs> Craziest intro already. Ali G is most iconic character. My favorite character. Check this out, I is here with my main man, none other than the boss man, Mr. Gore Vidal. Today we is chatting about history, history. innit? So you better learn about it. <laughs> is history happening all the time? Yeah. We are history. We, uh, we can't help it. When I was 14, <coughs> I fingered this girl called Ruth Jonas, <laughs> and she found out that me was letting people sniff me fingers for 10 pence. And she told me that I was history. Is I history? Well, you were history for her. For real. So what does that mean? <laughs> that means as far as one person on earth goes, you are historic. What was the Constitution? It was a written document outlining how the government of a new country should be governed. So why did they decide to write the Constitution on those two tablets? <laughs> No, not on tablets, they're on paper. Didn't they mold up the... No, that's, two. that's Moses. So, all right. So how involved was Moses in the Constitution? He had nothing to do with the Constitution. So is the Constitution the same now as it was back no. then? <laughs> no. It, what? Uh, well, we have amendments. How we, many of them has you got? We've got 27 amendments to the Constitution. Ain't it better sometimes to get rid of the whole thing rather than amend it? Because, like, me used to go out with this bitch called... <laughs> and she used to always try and amend herself, you know, get her hair done in highlights, get, like, tattoo done on her body crease, you know, have the whole thing shaved. Very nice. But it didn't make any more difference. She was still a minga. And so, you know, me had had enough. And once we got her pregnant... We've said, all right, later. <laughs> that is it. Ain't it the same with the Constitution? No. Well, the Constitution has not yet been pregnant. Let's <laughs> chat about slavery. Guys, like, what the hell? Ain't a lot of movies about slavery basically <laughs> racialist? <laughs> like, whenever them needs to cast a slave, them always choose a brother. <laughs> well, there were no white slaves. What? In America, in the United States. So couldn't it be argued that slavery is a bit racist? <laughs> well, it was totally racist. So you is an amazing guy. You ain't just a historian and a writer and a speaker. You is also a world-famous hairstylist. <laughs> so let's just ask a couple questions about that. That's Vidal Sassoon. That's what but that's what you go under <laughs> as well. No. That's somebody else. I know him, too. All right, so... Very nice man. But. All right, well, these next few questions may make a little bit less sense, but just bear with me. So, if you could cut any first lady's hair, which one would it be? No way. <laughs> I've never cut any hair. It's Vidal Sassoon. Yeah. Easy now. I is now oh, going to Mount by. Vernon, that was a good clip. which don't mean that I is going to meet a bloke <laughs> called Vernon and take him up the butty. It means I is off to somewhere that's got something to do with history, innit? it? Uh. Bull. Ah, ah, ah. Check out the rest of this clip. Welcome to Mount Vernon. Yo, respect. Good to see you. Safe. Washington lived here for about 40 years, so this is very much a reflection of his personality. So does Denzel Washington <laughs> still live there? Denzel? <laughs> For real. No, no, Denzel Washington is a different, a different Washington family. And I really can't tell you a lot about his background. Yo, he's a brother, isn't he? Uh, 
Was the other one a brother? <laughs> was the other one a brother? I, I don't <laughs> think so, no. So there's a river near this house? Yeah, you can go out and see it right now. So did him used to do a lot of like jet skiing on the river? Yeah, I don't think they had jet skis yet. So did him go windsurfing back then? We don't have any records of windsurfing either. Is that because wind weren't invented? Um, they had almost all their big ships would have had sails. Uh, so they would have been using the same kind of technology, technology as, as the, the windsurfing that uses today. This is George Washington's most private sanctum. It's a study. For real. And that's, you know, who that guy is. Who's that? That guy is the father of the American Navy, John Paul Jones. Was it difficult for him to live and fight without having any arms or legs? Well, no, he actually had a full body. The artist didn't want to do the full body. He just stopped right here. So what is the 4th of July? Fourth of July is is when they issued the Declaration of Independence, and we treat that as a holiday over here. So nobody goes to work on the 4th of July, and we have fireworks and all sorts of of celebrations. And what date does you hold the 4th of July on? Yeah, usually the 4th of July. Why? Well, that's why we call it that, I think, yeah. What happens if it was a leap year? It wouldn't be on the 4th of July then, yeah, it'd still it? be on the 4th of July. No, not in a leap year. Oh, yeah. Does you know what a leap year is? Yeah, sure. Every, like, five years. It's every four UK. years. It's an extra day in February. Or maybe, yeah. <laughs> I think this place is a bit like P. Diddy's, isn't it? Is it really? Well, I think he's got like something like this kind of vibe. Huh, I didn't, I, I'd never seen it. So I I'm seeing this one. I haven't seen that one, so I don't really know. I think it is, with all is respect, it? a little bit better. You know, it's got like plasma screens and a lot yeah. more bitches. Well, I'm but more high track, I bet. <laughs> Uh. Alright guys, another great clip by Sasha Baron Cohen, Ali G, of course, that most iconic character, the most recognizable character of Sasha Baron Cohen. Great stuff as usual, I really loved the last little bit of this clip, I didn't know what we were going to get from it, but the history part, talking about Denzel Washington, the statue figure that has no arms or legs, great stuff, um, the hair questions about that he was asking uh, Gore Vidal, great stuff as usual, just really funny stuff in general. But like always, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this clip. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know if everything's all right on your end. But I'm going to wrap this up, like I said. So, guys, take care of yourself. Stay safe because it is a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you know it by now. Peace.